Is this the order of the day now? To wait until someone dies to destroy his or her image when they're not here to defend themselves? A man's name, a man who happens to be the most prolific entertainer of all time, and bar none, the most celebrated and beloved African-American entertainer and performer to ever live, that man, Michael Jackson, has been a victim since his death. He is innocent until, not pro until proven guilty. Michael Jackson is no punching bag, and he deserves better. Michael Jackson knew, he knew, he knew that based on what he experienced during his life, that he would continue to be a target. He knew. He knew that there were few loyalties, and he knew that mandates had to be put in place upon his death to preserve and maintain his legacy. Many, he had those who I have wished I have hoped and I have prayed that Michael Jackson's will dated October 6, 2006 would be found, revealed, discovered, dropped from the sky because in it he painstakingly outlined how he wanted his legacy to be preserved and maintained. But this isn't about his will. I don't have it. I don't know where it is, and we've got to deal with the hand that we're dealt. And people and form. I am honored to announce the establishment of the Michael Jackson Legacy Foundation, a mandate he set forth to preserve, protect, and to defend his name while supporting the numerous organizations he supported during his life. Michael Jackson might no longer be with us, but through this foundation, we are hoping he will continue to live among us. Goals and objectives.